Hello and welcome to SITREP, where each week we give you a rundown of the top headlines from Military Times. General Martin Dempsey will likely succeed Navy Admiral Mike Mullen as the President's top military advisor when Mullen's term ends September 30th. Dempsey, who must still pass Senate confirmation, has served as the Army Chief of Staff since April. He is among the most battle-tested of today's four-star generals, with two tours of duty in Iraq and a stint as acting commander of U.S. Central Command. Not well known publicly, he has a reputation inside the Army as being an honest and innovative thinker. Army General Ray Odierno is said to be a top candidate to replace Dempsey as Army Chief of Staff. Odierno is currently commander of U.S. Joint Forces Command, which is being dismantled in a Pentagon reorganization. In one of his final policy speeches before retiring next month, Defense Secretary Robert Gates said that defense spending is about to enter a steep decline. The remarks came before the American Enterprise Institute, a conservative-leaning think tank generally hostile to defense spending cuts. Gates is expected to retire at the end of June, leaving the tough task of meeting budget demands to his successor, Leon Panetta. But before he goes, Gates said he wants to ensure that decisions are based on a broad review of future military needs. The overarching goal will be to preserve a U.S. military capable of meeting crucial national security priorities, even if fiscal pressure requires reductions in that force's size. The commanding officer of the Blue Angels has stepped down following a lower than normal maneuver during a May 22nd air show in Lynchburg, Virginia. The incident led to an immediate stand down and forced the cancellation of three of the team's acrobatic performances. Commander Dave Koss, a 20-year Hornet pilot, served a mere seven months in the command of the elite crew. The CO's relief means the Blues will also have to cancel scheduled June air shows at the Rockford Air Fest and Evansville Freedom Festival. For these and other headlines, be sure to pick up your favorite edition of the Military Times newspapers. And for up-to-the-minute news breaks, check out MilitaryTimes.com. Special thanks to this week's sponsor, Victory Motorcycles. Fuel your passion for riding at VictoryMotorcycles.com. For SITREP, I'm Tony Lombardo.